I've been brought this Western Digital Elements external hard drive to take a look at as it has started behaving strangely. This is a USB 3 device as we can see from the blue identification on the plug there. However, recently it's stopped being recognized as a, as a drive. Although you get the familiar ping pong when you plug it in, there's no drive letter assigned to it and it just acts very strangely. The strange thing is, if you actually plug it into a USB 2 port, it works. It's identified and you can see all the archives, the, the folders, etc. What is going on? I'll show you what I mean by plugging it into the uh, original laptop. So I'm now going to plug the drive into the USB 3 port. And we can hear the bingly bong. And if we look, we can see it's detected it as the elements 1048, but there's no drive letter. Looking in the device manager here, we can see that there are two USB external devices. One is a pen drive and one is the elements drive. So it appears to be good as far as the device manager is concerned. However, when we look in the disk management, it's not there. There's only the external pen drive and nothing more. So this is really odd. So now if we remove it from the USB 3 port, It says that it's unable to stop the device there. It's hardly surprising. Plugging it now into USB 2. So now we can see it here as elements and on drive G. So now when we go back and look at our equipment, here it is. Okay, the drive is nearly full, but it's clearly being recognized on USB 2, but not USB 3. As usual, I took a look on the internet and found various similar problems. Uh, some people suggested updating the BIOS, so I actually went through the pain and scariness of updating the BIOS on the machine. That made no difference. People were talking about different uh, device drivers, but as we saw in the device manager, the device driver is installed correctly and, and running. To cut an awfully long story short, it turns out to be the cable. We now eject the device. Unplug it from there. So I'm now using a different cable and we're going to plug it into the USB 3 port. And you heard it recognized there. And once again, we can see that it's recognized and given a drive letter. There's no problem. We can read and open the, the files there. After a lot of messing around, which I hope I've saved you that pain and time of going through, it's worth checking the cable. Looking at the actual USB connector, and we can clearly see that it's that it's bent. So that should have been a clue to me in the beginning. Uh, but as it was working on USB 2, I thought, well, it can't be the cable, can it? Of course, what I failed to remember at the time is USB 3 has many more pins. So in the top of the picture here, we can see the traditional four USB 2 type pins. And below them, there are these five extra pins which have uh, the super speed functions and other things of signaling in the USB 3 world. So clearly, as this is bent down that way, away from those contacts, I guess one of the very fine wires has parted company. In the final analysis, uh, when you see a bent cable, suspect the cable first, rather than diving into uh, other more esoteric solutions.